I'm Michael Bang and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial where I'm gonna show you how I retouch eyes in just a few minutes. The image here is from, from one of my workshop. it's, is it workshops, it's just a test shot. Uh, so what you see here is straight out of the camera, it's unedited, uh, but we're gonna do something, do something about that. I'm only editing the right eye. So I'm leaving this left eye unedited so you can follow the progress as we go along. The first thing I'm always doing when I'm looking at retouching an eye is to remove the red in the white here. And I'm doing this just by adding an adjustment layer, choosing hue saturation. And in saturation, I'm gonna choose minus 67 and lightness plus 11. Then I'm gonna paint all that layer black, so I'm back to my regular picture. Then I'm gonna choose a brush which has which has a hardness around 10%. I'm gonna choose white again, and I'm just gonna paint over this like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, not at all, because what you're doing now is is switching from white to black over here. So now you're removing all the layer that you do will not have to show up in your picture. So all that white stuff that you just wasn't supposed to be there, you'll remove again by doing this. Now, all that's left is the white and the white. Just perfect, just the way it should be. All these blood strings, you can remove them if you want to, just use the clone stamp and you can do that easily. I'm not gonna do that here. Now you can adjust the lightness if you want it wider or darker or what you want. I'm gonna choose a level around 16. I think that's that's fine. The same with saturation, you can adjust that to your liking. I'm gonna choose around 70. That's perfect for this image. Um, just to keep it simple, I'm merging these levels. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing it anyway. Now I'm gonna press Command J that copies my layer to another layer. And now I'm choosing the dodge tool, choosing the highlights in this instance, and 6%. I want the catch light in her eyes to be more bright. I'm just gonna paint over them like this. Perfect. Actually, you can see there's a bit of the color behind it. It's going purple and almost bluish. I can remove that just, just the same as I remove the white in her eyes. I can do that by turning the opacity, uh, sorry, the saturation down to approximately minus 70. And I'm keeping the lightness where it is because I don't want any lighter. And then I'm just painting over that bit again with a small brush, just like that. And I have a perfect white catch light there. Well, just to make it simple again, I'm merging. And uh, now I'm command j again, copying the background layer, choosing the burn tool. And I'm gonna paint, I'll choose the midtones over here, midtones and 6% again, the same as before. I'm just gonna paint around her eye like this, just to make the, her eye pop a little more, just like that. Actually, I think I'm going to use the dodge tool a bit here also just to uh, and dodge tool and the mid-tones uh, at a six percent value and just paint over here like this and again choosing the burn tool and mid-tones six percent just making them pop a little more like this i like that if it's too much, you would rather overdo it than underdo it, because if it's too much, you can always adjust the opacity level over here. So if it's too dark or bright, you can always adjust here. But I think it's a good around 90%. That's perfect. The only, th the only thing I'm missing now is the sharpness. The eyes have to be razor sharp to look good in an, in an image. Actually, I have an action here, which is called Sharpen 130. It's my eye action, but I'm going to do it the old fashioned way uh, right now. So Command J again, I've copied my layer, Filter, Sharpen and Unsharpen Mask. The amount is approximately 130%, the radius 1.6, threshold zero. 
you press OK. Now the image is way too sharp. Her skin looks awful. So I'm making a layer mask. I'm pressing Alt and pressing the Add Layer Mask. That creates a layer mask that's already black. And now all I have to do is choose my brush tool again and choose the white. And now I'm gonna paint the sharpness in her eyes, just like this. Actually, what I, what, what I like to do is work a bit on her lashes as well. Uh, choose a small brush and I actually go all the way around her eyes like this. It makes them pop a little more. You can also be more generous with her lashes and, and sharpen each one of them. I'm doing it right now, just doing it fast. You should actually be zooming in and doing it more perfectly than, that I'm, than I am now. But you'll get the, the point. Her eyebrows, I choose a uh, opacity of my uh, brush at about 50 and just paint over them like this with white. Just adjusting my brush size uh, and there you go. This is how I retouch my eyes. Uh, I can probably do this in three or four minutes uh, for two eyes if I don't have to explain myself. Uh, while I'm doing it. So this is a really fast way to retouch eyes. I'll also throw this image on the blog so you can see it uh, in 100% and totally sharp. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I promise you there will be more here at michaelbank.com. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment on this video or throw me an email. That's and at info at michaelbank.com. See you next time. Bye-bye.